Some D-Day veterans traveled thousands of miles to be here for the 75th anniversary, but the trip was much shorter for one American. Mark Phillips introduces us. Among the veterans honored here today was a man with a long untold story named Charles Norman Shea, who took part in a smaller ceremony earlier this week. Hey, I Shea is 94 years old and led a commemoration for the 29 Native Americans killed in the Normandy fighting who were buried here. Private Benny Allen <coughs> DeWitt, Lower Bull, a Sioux. Charles Shea had grown up in the Penobscot Native community in Maine, attended high school, was drafted into the Army, and trained as a medic which is what brought him to the carnage of Omaha Beach. Mortars and artillery coming at us. And when the ramp went down, uh, the men that were standing in the front, uh, some of them were killed immediately. Others were so badly hurt they couldn't drag themselves out of the surf. Many men that had been wounded uh, were laying and could not help themselves. And the tide was coming in very fast. But Charles was faster, returning time after time to drag the wounded men up the beach. I hope that I saved the lives of many men, but uh, I would say 10 or 20, perhaps. Others say it was many more. Shea received a silver star for his heroism under fire. Lately, Charles Shea has moved to France. He says to be close to his fallen brothers in his final years. I've been here for one year. For one year, yeah. okay. And do you, think, year. do you think you'll stay here now? Oh, yeah, this will be my last day. I'll die. <laughs> but not yet. I believe that I can talk with the souls of the men that are still wandering around the beach here and I just try to assure them that they are not forgotten. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Normandy. After all these years, still a band of brothers. I'm Anthony Mason in Normandy, France. Let's go back now to David Begno in New York. David. Anthony, thank you. And to everyone who has served, thank you.